Hey guys, Assalamu Alaikum, I hope you are all well. Yes, I am so excited because we are around the corner from the month of Ramadan starting. May Allah SWT give us the ability to reach the month of Ramadan. May we complete all our fasts and may Allah SWT forgive all our sins. Ameen. So during the month of Ramadan, you may have seen lots of people use something to brush their teeth. Something that looks like this, right? Let me show you guys. This is called a miswak stick or a suwak stick and basically this stick is used to brush the teeth this one doesn't come like this though you have to kind of buy it in its original form like a twig shave the ends off and um yeah basically just use it like a normal toothbrush now there's something i wanted to show you guys um i came across this particular product a few months back when i went to an event and it was basically a london Muslim shopping festival where it hosts all these different Islamic attire, um, Islamic uh, accessories and stuff like that. Um, things like Bukhur, perfumes, abaya, tobes, and also a product that basically looks like this. This is called a tooth whack. Now remember I was talking to you about the miswak stick? This is called a tooth whack. Now pay attention to the details. So this is basically a toothbrush shape but it's got the miswak stick you know the end of it here let me just quickly show you guys the end of it here at the top okay it may not look completely the same but if you see here the ends here now basically the problem some people find is when they're using the miswak stick well I find I'll tell you my honest opinion is that when I'm brushing it with this it is hard quite hard because it's straight it doesn't it doesn't bend you can bend it a little bit but it doesn't get right back to the back if that makes sense like behind the teeth and i've got quite large um what's it called wisdom teeth not that i'm too wise but yeah basically um so yeah i can't get around so this one kind of gives you the ability to kind of use it like a toothbrush skip at the toothpaste and get the benefits of miswak now basically the actual juice you know the actual like i don't know what to call it the the sap that comes off the twig is very very good for your teeth and your breath as well now when you're fasting you may have noticed or noticed from other people that your breath usually smells i wouldn't say bad but it has this that like, smell but that smell isn't actually coming from your mouth right that's actually coming from your empty stomach the acids and all that that's coming from that and there is a blessing in that. And there's a hadith that says uh, that basically not word for word, but there's a blessing in uh, the smell that emulates from the person that's fasting. So <clears throat> yeah, this one here um, is, is something that I've never used before. And I want to try it today and I'll show you guys how to use it. Um, this one I brought is basically a premium pack. What it means by that is um it comes with the additional heads on it so i think there's a children's one that has one head on it you can also use it as a training brush so but you can see this one has three on it and it has additional attachments here so how do you use this one um so basically you gotta wash the brush heads for two to three seconds under running water so they come quite hard so once you wet it i suppose it softens down and there's no need to use toothpaste now when I brought it from Toothwack, the guy did say you can use toothpaste, but I was like, what's the point? You know, the whole purpose of it is, is just to use it in a natural form. So I will not be using it um, with toothpaste. Um, and I also carry it around with me. Now it's going to look a bit, little bit strange, especially when I walk into a masjid and I'm using it before Salah and I'm like kind of brushing it like a normal brush, but I don't know, it's something, something I want to try. Obviously I'll keep this as a backup just in case, but yeah, let's go and try this out. So here we are in my bathroom. Feels a bit odd me recording in the bathroom. So let's go ahead and open this tooth whack up. Okay, here we go. I'm saying to you guys, toothbrush shape, and it comes with three heads. So they did say rinse it under the tap. Okay, so that's uh nice and drenched now so let's go ahead and try the tooth whack out i was gonna say the beginning of what i usually do but i'm in the bathroom i can't do that a bit stiff 
excuse me, can definitely taste the sap of the, the miswak. And okay, you get these little bristles that come off in your mouth. But once you use it a few times, it should be fine. To give it a little bit, because uh, the bristles come out. So just make sure you don't end up swallowing it. No harm if you do, but it's gonna feel a bit weird. But what I notice is I'm putting more emphasis in brushing my teeth, like the front ones. And when I'm using the electric one, something like this, I don't really put that much emphasis. So I just let it glide over. This one I'm actually getting into the into the teeth, basically, on the side of the teeth. Yeah, so just be careful. When you put this packet back, these heads, they fall out. So just put everything back in its box and save that for next time. Right guys, that's the teeth brushing all done. Um, it did feel a little bit weird. First and foremost, having a camera in the bathroom. And secondly, um, it's the actual whole concept of using a toothbrush with no toothpaste. Um, I, I, I've used Miss Wax to stick a lot of times. Um, and I say, it's one of the things that doesn't appeal to everyone. Why? Because there's like a distinct taste and a fragrance. One of my close friends doesn't actually like the smell of it. But I think the, the tooth whack is a good transition for those that want to use a mist wax stick but want to move away from the traditional toothbrush and toothpaste. Um, I am going to use my traditional toothbrush and toothpaste at Sohor time just to kind of clean my mouth and get rid of all the, all the nitty gritty stuff. Um, not to say that the tooth whack can't do it but because I'm quite new to it I'm probably going to have to use both. Um, and during the day would I carry it around with me? Probably, probably, I'll keep it in my pocket. Um, as I said, it might look a bit weird if I bring it out somewhere and start brushing my teeth. With the mist wax stick, it's kind of like, you know, it, it looks ordinary because people use it, right? But using a toothbrush uh, in a masjid, people are going to what are you doing? Um, something I have to get to used to and maybe try. I'll let you guys know. So definitely, my mouth is feeling clean, though. I have to say, like, no toothpaste. I was quite surprised. I did have a use a tongue cleaner. It's something that I always use. If you guys have a tongue cleaner or don't use one, make sure you get yourself one because it clears all that rubbish on your tongue out. I wouldn't really say use the tooth whack on your tongue because it's quite hard and it may end up scraping your, your taste buds. So don't do that. Um, so yeah, definitely check it out. I mean, I've, I've been kind of thinking about getting a tooth whack for a long time, but didn't know where to buy it. And then when I came across it in an exhibition, I thought, yeah, it's on a promotional price. I think I picked it up for £10. So I thought, yeah, definitely worth a try and show you guys and tell you guys about it. So guys, make sure you hit the subscribe and the like button and share this video with your friends and family. And also, also, make sure you guys check out Vita Coco. For those of you guys like coconut water, I've put a link down below. For those of you guys that don't like coconut water or have never tried it, definitely try it out. This is a must have during the month of Ramadan. Why? I have a Sahur and it's a real thirst quencher. It's got natural electrolytes and it tastes amazing. I have all the coconut waters I've tried. This one is the best and also iftar time as well. A lot of my family pour water out for me. I have a bit of water and then I go to my coconut water. It keeps me hydrated and very thirst quenching again. So make sure you guys check out the link below. It'll give you a discount. Till then, Take care, have a nice Ramadan. Jazakallah khair, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu.